as I've mentioned every night, our week in San Francisco would simply not be possible without the generous help of Intel, the world's biggest manufacturer of microchips. Intel, I will tell you, has been very generous. When this week started, I didn't know much about that company. I really didn't. So I wanted to see firsthand who would be foolish enough to sink money into this show. So I decided to visit their headquarters in nearby Santa Clara to learn more about, I want to learn more about Intel. I, uh, I brought a camera crew along. Here's what happened. We're here at the Intel headquarters in Santa Clara, California. Uh, Intel is the world's leading chip manufacturer, or so they tell me. Uh, and the first thing you notice about Intel is it's, they're a little bit controlling. They actually have a sign here on the floor telling you exactly where to stand if you want to take a picture of the Intel sign. Not here. Not here, but here. <laughs> Hi, your name is? Don Beatty. I'm a senior marketing manager in the consumer client services group at Intel. You're going to take us through Intel, is that right? That's right. First of all, uh, Don, I love what you guys have done with the color here. I think the gray works very nicely with the gray, which works well with the grayish blue. Oh, my God. We really try to keep a very similar working environment. Basically, everyone at Intel is in trees. It's good. It makes people feel that they're all basically the same, that there is no individuality, there's no hope, there's no sense that life has possibilities. Look at H10. Is that what you'd see in a parking garage? Depending on where exactly you are? We try to mark the general areas, so you may tell a coworker, I'm over by pole H10. Right, which is better than you know, those pretty flowers near the window, I'm near those. I'd like to introduce you, B10, this is C10. C10, B10. I think you two should have lunch together over at C9 today. Please do not move this chair from this cube. This is the Intel cafeteria, a giant room filled with some of the biggest nerds in the country. But in any society, there is a hierarchy. And here they are, the chess club, the super nerds. So you guys, you come over here and you play, and you play chess and you don't talk to the others, do you? Unless you have, you have to. Unless you absolutely you have, have to. to. There you play chess? Me? I did a long time ago. I like to play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Do you know that game? Yeah. <laughs> I destroy at that game. This is Kayvon, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And Kayvon, what do you do? I'm a factory manager. Here's where you make the chips. That's where we make the chips. Okay, and it has to be a clean environment, is that right? Yes, clean is actually a little understatement. It has to be ultra clean. Let me ask you something. I like to carry around this tube of dryer lint just for a good luck. I sealed this up pretty good. That's scotch tape. Yeah. That's the best tape you can buy. Yeah. This, top, this top sometimes just pops off. Oh, and then then the that's lint a big no-no. Is it making you nervous? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to put a hairnet on. Hairnet? Yes. Yeah, so you know what we look like? Laverne and Shirley. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> going by. Very good. Doesn't so, know what I'm talking so, about. So now we put on the scissor gloves from all the way small to the large one. I would need the I got large hands. Ladies. <laughs> okay. Good job. Nice job. First step. You got the hood on. Now we're gonna put your gown. I'm not a child. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look. Yeah. Stretching. See, that's where I am. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Hey, that's Kayvon. I Can you show know. us what you did? Show us how you do it. This is your... Yeah? Let's see the other one. This is where you check the chip? That's where we check the chip. Mike, right, you mind if I take a look? Yes, please. Oh, 
Kaidan. We have this thing called laminar airflow. So air is always circulating because we want to always clean up particles. This is how we get to this uh, very low oxygen of the environment. And now we are heading out to the phase three. From there on, we are going to go to our copper, non copper. <laughs> Intel actually has a museum, uh, here it is behind me, and I'm told that there's a group of second graders visiting the Intel Museum, so let's go see what's going on. Was, uh, was this your first choice for a field trip? No! <laughs> this shows you the sterile environment where they make the chips. Isn't that exciting? Yeah! <laughs> Look at this, in 1987, the 80C186 embedded processor in surface mount technology was announced. It's the SMT package, right? Yeah! You guys want a fun life? Yeah! It's called a cubicle. Can you say cubicle? Cubicle. Cubicle. Can you say confined space? Confined space. Can you say lifeless environment? Lifeless environment. Yes. Hold it. You say, you say, I have to stay very, very late again. Honey, I need to stay very, very late again. Intel is making me work and work and work. Intel is making me work and work and work again. And they won't put pretty colors on the wall. And they won't put pretty colors on the wall. And I want to come home. And I want to come home. But I can't come home. I can't come home. I feel like I need to get my boss and throw him out the window. What? <laughs> oh, this kid needs counseling. <laughs> Are, uh, of course, they're very nice. They were very helpful. They were terrific. No wonder Intel is the world leader in microchip innovation. In fact, there's only one brand in the Bay Area that's closer to my heart. I'm speaking, of course, about Sam Rose Restaurant. Sam Rose, located at 813 Washington Street between Grant Stockton and Zimmer's Week, I'm Sam Rose, a perennial Chinatown favorite for over 100 years.